Welcome to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's reading. This is one of my little spontaneous readings where we just ask for a message, something that you need to know about or hear about right here and right now. It's a single reading. I do do the bigger pick a card reading several times a week, but this is a single reading. If you've been drawn to it, then I would trust your intuition. There will be a message in this reading for you today. So we are going to use the Akashic Tarot. Let's draw some cards and see what we are shown. We're going to use a spirit animal guide as well. Oh, you've actually got three coming through. I'm, I'm going with this always with the readings. We must just trust that what comes through is right. And also some Astro Oracle cards. And I'm seeing just one card from here. Okay, Super Souls. Well, I'm really intrigued. Let's look at your spirit animal guides first. So you have the card of Lizard, Regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens to you, you can adjust. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Okay, very powerful message coming through. Oh, wow. And then we have Dragonfly. Dragonfly is also about transformation. Dragonfly, magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant. I am blessed. Beautiful cards. And then Puffin, partnership. Okay. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Now I'm having, <coughs> oh, excuse me, let's get myself a glass of water perhaps. I am having a really strong feel about your reading already. Reading, I was about to say reading number one, but there is only one reading. This is, this is the reading, the information today. Let's just see what other cards we are shown. Mid Heaven Pinnacle. Perfect. That is exactly tuning in with the, um, the guidance that I was feeling already. Okay, so we have four of scrolls, the, the karmic trench. Now it's in reverse. Now I don't, know, I don't tend to read cards in reverse. If you follow my readings, you'll know that. But this pack of cards I do, and all of these are in reverse. We have birth, the card number four. So this is interesting. We've got two fours, four of scrolls and also um, birth four. And then we have the Queen of Roses in reverse, which suggests some bit, something or potentially somebody um, exiting, leaving. Right, Super Souls, let us zone in on the message of today. So Super Souls, what we're seeing primarily here in your message of the day you are, are absolutely at a pivotal turning point in some aspect of transformation or regeneration. What I do think it possibly really, there's two areas that it maybe connects to very specifically. One is to your own personal identity, your confidence about being you and being able to be true to yourself, being your colorful self, not having to be a sheep or comply, knowing that it's okay to be you, to be, it's okay to have a voice in some way, shape or form. There's something changing where you are no longer needing to fit, to comply, to, yeah, those are perhaps the right words. If you're a square, if, if you're often a, a square peg in a round hole, it's kind of knowing you really don't need to do that anymore. There's some, something is bringing stuff to a head where you can be true to you. That's one area coming through. The other is really connecting to children. Now, it could be that this is connecting to the inner child in you and part of your own evolution at this point in time is connecting to letting go of the stuff of your childhood or the stuff of your inner child that has um, maybe you never felt that you could really be yourself or be fully accepted. That's transformational. For some of you, there could be a shift in relation to your own children. There could literally even be um, a departure, children leaving to go to university, 
What we see here is, firstly, the karmic trench is really interesting, sitting under lizard regeneration. Um, because there's, there's a real acknowledgement that within this, this transformation, you have the capacity to handle it. You also have the capacity not to react in ways that traditionally or historically you might have done. In reverse, this is a super card in reverse. It really is because in the upright position, it's like we're stuck in a karmic trench. We're in some sort of repetitive cycle. We're not able to see the woods for the trees. We're on autopilot. It's that kind of flavor. In reverse, you're, you've, you're out of that karmic trench. You are now in charge as to how you approach the current situation. Now, because it is a general reading, it's going to apply to the uniqueness of your circumstances. But transformation is around you. It could well connect to letting go of your own children or some aspect of your children, even your own children that you are supported, navigating something in their life and of you now knowing how best to handle it without being pulled in emotionally in some way, shape or form. Transformation is happening. It is perfectly okay to reach out for help. Um, for some of you, even having that voice, it hasn't felt safe to reach out and ask for help. It hasn't felt as though you could um, ask for what you need. You may have been one of those people that goes it alone. The Queen of Roses. Well, in fact, let's just come back to the card of birth. We can see children here in the upright position. Um, when it's in reverse, it means something is delayed. So the transformation, the initiation, there's a struggle. It's like a, a birth isn't happening. You know, you know, we sometimes in a birth, um, you know, babies take hours and hours and hours to, you know, to come out um, and to arrive into their into their landing place in the world. Sometimes it's really fast. This would suggest a longer sort of birth because it's in reverse. It may just mean that you are potentially having to negotiate. I, I almost feel like you're being given the space, curiously enough. I think if there's a delay or this process of transformation is happening step by step, there are actually pause breaks, a bit like in, in labor, you would breathe. You know, there's times to push and times to breathe and times when the contractions are coming thick and strong and other times when they ease off and you think, has it all stopped? But there's, it's like there's resting points. And I'm seeing really here resting points that allow you to review your position as, and this is one of the strong messages coming through, however this is working for you, or whatever this is about, whether it's finding yourself and your own voice, working through some aspect of that connects to your inner child, dealing with children and family in your own world, whatever, or even a collaboration of, of all of those things, you're no longer following a pattern. You're conscious of it. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. This is happening with breathing spaces. So it may not feel as though things are moving forwards possibly as fast as you'd like, but the breathing spaces are here to allow you to almost regroup yourself within your own power as it were, putting on that new cloak, um, knowing that these are the new colors that you're wearing. So there's pause breaks along the way. This will come to its conclusion. If somebody is um, departing, if there's a, a separation of some sort, or even if there is conflict potentially with another woman or a, a challenging situation in your world, this is going to sort itself out. This is a significant turning point for you because you are absolutely choosing not to react or respond in any ways that you might previously have done. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about bringing you, being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. There's a real big clue in this, the teamwork. This is not something to tackle alone. Pause breaks, then think about who you want to reach out to, how you want to ask for help, help and ask to receive. Open yourself to receive that this is 
reaching a, a, a point, a midpoint, or a turning point, a pinnacle, and it will emerge from this. The gorgeous thing is that this karmic pattern of repetitive emotional responses, behaviors, whatever that is, is changing. So super souls, that is your little message for today. Tons and tons and tons of love. And I look forward to seeing you either in some of these little spontaneous readings again, or for some of my bigger pick a card readings, I post usually usually three a week um, and always one every single Sunday for weekly guidance from your spirit team to see what's happening for you right here and right now and for the next seven days. Super Souls, tons and tons of love.